Hey, so this is going to be, this video is going to be, um, let's, I'm calling it exercise number one. So in this series of exercise videos, um, I'm going to start at the very basic and they're going to get harder and harder. And let me explain what exercises are for. Exercise, just like uh, when you, when you, what you do at home or when you, what you do at the gym is to make you stronger, to make you faster to make you more agile, which means, you know, you can do things quickly. And that's the same thing with your bow, with your fingers. Um, it, it, it's the exercises are meant to better you as a musician and to better your ability. So that's one thing you have to work on is being able to play things that are fast, that are tricky, and these exercises will help you with all those things as you come into contact with harder music if you do your exercises that harder music won't be so hard because you've done stuff like that before in the exercises so exercise number one we're just gonna do open strings um, for open strings I uh, you can put your hand right here so this hand can be right here it can be right here as well which is you know the normal way to be because we're not using any fingers for right now let's go ahead and put our hand right here and we're gonna do the A string and then the E string I'm oh, sorry the A string and then the D string A string D so A D A D just those four notes You go back and forth between those two strings. So this exercise is on string crossings. We're working on the right hand is what we're doing right now. And you want to be, you want to make sure you sound good doing it. Okay. So if you sound like this, it means you need more practice. You only want to hear one string at a time. The next one would be D, G, D, G. Now, one of the things is, if you think this is, if this is easy for you, try doing it without looking at your strings. So as a, as a better musician, as a more an intermediate advanced musician, you don't have time to be looking at the strings because you're reading the music. Okay, so go ahead and start memorizing how the strings feel, how this arm is lifting up and down, and, and, and how you're playing the, how physically you're moving, and the right string is being played. So D, G, D, G. Okay, and last we're going to do A, E, A, E. Okay, so at first go ahead and look at the string, look at the bow, and then eventually get better at it and so you don't have to look at the string anymore. Additionally, what we can start doing with the same exercise is we can also be working on our rhythms. So we, we're going to work on the whole notes, the half notes, and the quarter notes. As you should know, the quarter note is one beat. Okay, so one, 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 one. Now when we play the half note, that one will be two. It's twice as long. Every note is twice as long. So it'd be one, one. One, 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 one. Two ones equal two. So you can count it one, one, but the, the correct way to be to count it would be one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. That would be half notes. Let's go back to the quarter notes. One, 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 one. So so pick a tempo. What you have to do is pick a tempo, pick a speed. Remember tempo just means speed and stick to it. So Maybe that's a good tempo. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so stick to that tempo. If that's your speed, that means the quarter notes are worth one. You're gonna do this. 
Okay, maybe that's too fast for you. Then slow it down. One, 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 one. Now, if you slow the quarter notes down, though, the half notes are going to be long, and then the whole notes are going to be super long. So you want to get good at changing strings. So you pick. So you pick a speed that is in somewhere in the middle, not too slow, not too fast. This. I believe is a good speed. Do all the do all of the strings. Remember these are quarter notes. All right, now let's do the half notes. Feel free to play along with me. One, two, half notes go. Take a little break for four beats and ready go. One, two, ready, A, E. Now notice how you can see in the video I'm counting with my body. If that helps you at the beginning when you're learning violin, go ahead and do that. Count with your, you know, um, you have really have to feel the beat. You got to keep counting in your mind and sometimes that counting kind of takes over our body. You can tap your foot, you can move your body a little bit. Eventually as you get better at and better and better you won't be doing that anymore. Now let's do the whole notes. Again here's the speed, same speed. Whole notes are four beats. Here we go. One, two, A, D. One, Rest, rest, ready, next one. Rest, rest, ready, go. Make sure you, whenever you do this exercise that you sound good and one of the ways that you're going to sound good is playing with the straight bow. That's one of the, one of the ways to sound good. Go back and check the other video, five, five uh, funny sounds that might be coming out of your violin, five ways, five reasons why you sound bad on the violin and make sure you're not doing any of those. Like make sure you always take care of your sound and, and play the quarter notes, the half notes and the whole notes and memorize what they are so that you you're quickly when it, when I ask you in class how much is a whole note you're gonna say two how much is sorry how much is a whole note you're gonna say four how much is a half note you're gonna say two how much is a quarter note one make sure you you got that down really all you have to do is memorize it once so that we're not um, you don't have to memorize it again ever you don't have to think about it again ever it's already in your brain you already know Quarter note is one, half note is two, whole note is four, okay?